Suppose a computer manufacturer has the total cost function C of X equals 84X plus 12,348, and the total revenue function R of X equals 441X. And here we're assuming X equals the number of computers. For part A, we're asked what is the equation of the profit function for this commodity. Because profit is equal to revenue minus cost, the profit function P of X is equal to the revenue function R of X minus the cost function C of X, which means the profit function P of X is equal to, the revenue function is 441X minus the cost function, which is 84X plus 12,348. And now we'll find this difference. So for the next step, we'll clear the parentheses, and because of the subtraction here, if it's helpful, we can think of distributing a negative one. So the profit function P of X equals 441X minus 84X minus 12,348. And now for the last step, we'll combine like terms. Notice how we have two X terms. So P of X equals 441X minus 84X is equal to 357X and we have minus 12,348. So this is our profit function. Notice how we already have P of X equals, so we only enter the right side of 357X plus 12,348. Now let's answer part B and C on the next slide. Notice how we have our profit function here on the top. So part B, what is the profit for 61 units? To answer this question, we substitute 61 for X. So we need to find P of 61, which equals 357 times 61 minus 12,348. Well, 357 times 61 is equal to 21,777, and we have minus 12,348. So P of 61 is equal to this difference, which is 9,429. And because this is profit, the units here would be dollars, so for part B, what is the profit on 61 units? We'll enter $9,429. So we'll include the dollar sign. Let's also put .00. And finally for part C, we're asked, how many computers must be sold to avoid losing money? When a company doesn't make money or lose money, that's called the break-even point, and that occurs when the revenue is equal to the cost or when the profit is equal to zero. So to answer this question, we'll set the profit function equal to zero and solve for x, which would give us the equation 357x minus 12,348 equals zero. And now we'll solve for x, so we'll add 12,348 to both sides, which would give us 357x equals 12,348. Solve for x, we divide both sides by 357. Simplifying, we have X is equal to this quotient, which we'll have to round. 12,348 divided by 357 is approximately 34.59. So this is approximately how many computers must be sold to break even, but of course the company cannot sell a fraction or decimal part of a computer. So if they sell 34 computers, they would lose money. If they sell 35 computers, they would start to make money, and therefore the company must sell 35 computers in order to avoid losing money. So it is important to recognize here, even if this was 34.1, we would still round up to 35 because we can't sell a fraction or decimal part of a computer, and if we sold less than this approximation, the company would lose money, and the question is how many must be sold to avoid losing money? So we'll always have to round up to the next whole number unless the quotient is an exact whole number. I hope you found this helpful.